No Welcome to another episode of Muscles and Moves. Today we're gonna be training chest. But first, I want to go to the barber shop because I kind of look like a like a monkey. I have too much hair on my head. And I want to look fresh. So, heading straight to the barber shop. And then after that, I'm gonna head straight for the gym because it's chest day. So basically at this point all I just really wanted was to make a time lapse video but once I sat down and like 10 minutes passed by it just occurred to me that I did not that I was just recording normally and that kind of sucks but oh well I got my haircut and that's how that counts. <laughs> So welcome guys, today uh, we're going to be training chest, it's going to be a hypertrophy day, so it actually means that we're going to be doing like three to four sets um, of each exercise, we're going to be doing uh, classic um, exercises so such as bench press, incline bench press, decline bench press and also cable flies. So. Um, before that, of course, it's very important that you warm up the muscles really good uh, because by doing so, you actually avoid the chances of getting injured while doing your exercise. And of course, you need to keep in mind that when you're training chest in this, in this, in this scenario, you want to warm up the chest, but also your shoulders because your shoulders will be doing a lot of work. And uh, by warming up your shoulders, you can actually avoid a lot of injuries. And that is exactly what we're going to do now. So you want to always start off with just an easy exercise that, you know, just some something like this to the front just with light weight potato cuffs very important warm up these muscles also this which is these different variant this one so how many reps do you do for this one just as much as you want until you really feel that the muscle is warmed up and you're ready to go So yeah, we're gonna start with the first exercise, flat bench press. We're gonna do uh, three different sets. Uh, each time we're gonna increase the weight, so we're gonna be doing progressive offload. Each time we're gonna be increasing the weight with, I think, 10 kilograms. We're gonna start with 20, 40 actually, 60, including the, 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 the bar. So let's go ahead and do it. worth mentioning while doing the bench press is that you need an arch back just like that it's beautiful that way you prevent shoulders injury and it's just overall better for your chest development Set number two, we actually increase, increase the weight by 20 kilograms, 10, 10, let's go. Everybody 
That's the idea. <laughs> yeah, that's the Okay, my guys. So basically the whole idea about the hypertrophy training is that you lift as heavy as you possibly can. So you, you just literally search for that limit and push as much as you can. Uh, and then naturally the gains are going to come. You need to keep in mind that you do this safely because I'm going to try something out that I would normally do with only spotter. But uh, yeah, I'm going to try it. Let's see. This is the last set by the way. <coughs> oh, shit's come up. <laughs> it's going to be real, mate. Come on, grinding. Okay, so we're done with the flat bench press. We're gonna do some incline bench press now. Three sets, increasing the weight by uh, 10 kilograms each time. And after that, we're gonna move on to the deep line bench press. But for now, let's finish this. Easy way. Easy way. Easy. <laughs> Let's go. Even 
further beyond! Same principle again, we did flat bench press, incline bench press, and we're gonna do decline bench press. Three sets, progressive overload, each time uh, adding a minimum of 10 kilograms for each set. So, let's do this. Yeah. Let's get this. Let's get them games. Beautiful. Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> We're actually adding 20 kilograms. Easy. No clip on the test floor. Go up easy, man. You can do this. Eight to ten reps. Let's go. Go up, buddy. Woo. That's it. Perfect. Flies now. This is basically the not the last one, almost the last one. After this one, we're gonna do some uh, uh, pullovers, bent pullovers, and after that, we're finished. <laughs> Pullovers now. Um, uh, we finished the flies with dumbbell flies, but the camera just ran out of battery, so we just had to charge it again. Uh, we're gonna be doing this. I just start, start with 20, and I'm gonna go over to 28, and then after 28, I'm gonna go for the 36. I used to do this on 40 kilograms, but you know, mm. stopped doing it for a while, so <laughs> gotta get the strength back. So this is it, the last exercise of my chest workout. It is going to be the pullover. And the pullover, in my personal opinion, is definitely one of the best, if not the best, 
finisher for your chest workout. Uh, this is a compound movement that includes four different muscle groups being the long head of your triceps, your lats, your serratus anterior, and your chest or your pectoral major. Now by doing this exercise, you're not only working on these four muscle groups, but you're also improving your blood flow. Why? Well, it's simple. It is a stretching exercise. You're literally stretching your lats, long head of your triceps, your pecs, and once again, your serratus anterior. And by doing so, the blood flow of your body is actually improved. And by having an improved blood flow, that basically translates in having your having nutrients being delivered to the muscle much faster uh, at, a, at a higher rate and it is just overall better for your recovery and you just come back stronger so if i were if you were to ask me do you do should i do this exercise well fuck yes you should do it Perfect. We're dead. <laughs> Time to go home. Yeah, man. <sighs>